What's going on everyone? It's episode 7 of The Road to Glory and this week we switch things up a little bit, entering the lads into Cap 270 Limited. So we are bypassing that ETH reward this weekend and hoping to hit the cards. Let's have a little look at how the boys got on this week and we will look ahead at what we've got going on for the weekend as well. So if you watched last week's episode, you'll know that we did get a little sneak peek at just how we were going to get on for this week in Cap 270 Limited. It was a pretty underwhelming display from all parties involved. As you can see, a lot of yellow scores from the boys this week. Apart from Luis Reyes, well done, lad. Getting yourself in amongst some green. It's still not going to be good enough to get us any reward, though. We did manage to scrape 100 coins. I'm not too sure how we can integrate that into a actual road to uh, any kind of glory just yet until so rare update what we can spend those on of any interest to us trying to kind of trade our way up into profits anyway we go again cap 270 limited obviously a little bit out of our reach hopefully we can put together a team that can compete in cap 240 limited this weekend let's have a little look at how we got the boys lined up fingers crossed for some end product this weekend Heading into Cap 240 Limited this weekend, hoping to scrape that $5 of ETH. And if we're extremely lucky, who knows, we might even bag a card. We're going to be sticking with mainstay Miguel Vargas in goal as he is our only option. Although that F rating for his fixture shows us that we are going to be pretty lucky to score anything of any decent value to the team. So we're going to have to hope that the rest of the team can really pull together and pull it out of the bag. Justin Maram up top has been hitting a decent, decent bit of form at the moment. Fingers crossed he can continue that up top with Mikkel or Kramer, one of our recent heroes and signings as well. Uh, a lot of bad fixtures across the board for the boys, so my hopes of a reward this weekend are pretty low, if I'm being completely honest with you. But with a bit of luck, they can scrape home that $5 and we can have a little look in the transfer market next weekend. Gameplay and SO5 aside, let's have a little look at how our cumulative value of our squad is doing on the charts. If we look at the current valuation of our entire squad, it is sitting at around £41.09, which is down from the initial £50 that we invested, plus the $5 of ETH that we spent on Mickey or Kramer a couple of game weeks back. So overall, we are down on our initial investment just a bit as well as that $5 that we spent. But we do also have $5 in the kitty that we can spend to strengthen things for the forthcoming game weeks. On next week's episode, we are gonna dive into the transfer market and see if we can pick up a transfer bargain or two to hopefully push us a little bit closer to some of those ETH rewards over the coming weeks and months. Make sure that you're locked in for next week's episode. It's gonna be a big one. We are gonna be diving into the transfer market, so get your pens and paper at the ready and I'll see you next week. Cheers all, good luck for the weekend.